Hi everyone, this is the writing video for Tuesday, November 10th, and today in our how-to writing, we're going to talk about generating ideas. That means coming up with what you will want to write about next. Now in Seesaw today, you probably saw that I posted a how-to topics picture page. I also posted a blank page that you could fill in on your own. You can either print out this blank page to write on for the lesson today, or if you just want to use a blank piece of paper to write a list on, that's good too. So today our whole goal is just to come up with a list of things that we're good at that we could choose to write about. So let's start with the pictures that I posted first. This is just a general list of ideas that you can use to inspire you. Maybe you're not good at all of these things, but your goal is to write things that you are good at in a list today. Let's look at this. It says, read a book, take care of a pet, swim, take care of a plant, build a sand castle, cook, ride a bike, play a game, write a story. Now, if you would like to use one of those ideas on your own personal list of topics, that's great. Otherwise, let's think of things that you specifically are good at. I made a list here um, of things that I am really good at. And again, my things might be different than your things, that's okay. But on my own blank how-to topics page here, I wrote, I'm really good at making toast. And I already wrote uh, a piece about that, right? And I read that to you in the classroom about how to make toast. It's a really simple thing, but it's something I'm good at because I eat toast all the time. I wrote that I'm good at carving a pumpkin. So I could write a piece with the steps of how to carve a pumpkin. I'm really good at doing laundry because I have to do a lot of laundry. So I could write a piece about all the steps involved in washing and drying clothes. I wrote that I'm good at making a pie, getting ready for school. I'm good at feeding my dog. I'm good at going for a run. I'm good at counting in French. And I'm good at wrapping a present. So if you have access to the piece of paper that you can print out and you can make your own list of topics in these boxes, that's great. Otherwise, you can just take a blank piece of paper and make a list. So if you were going to do that, you could write how to topics at the top. How to means that we're teaching someone how to do something, right? Topics means ideas, things we can write about. And then I want you to come up with at least three ideas today of things that you can write about. That doesn't mean you're going to write about all three things today. It means you're starting a list so that when you are finished with a piece, you have an idea of what could come next for your next piece. So if I'm thinking of things that I'm really good at, I remember my goal is to come up with at least three today. So I put a one, two, three here. Maybe for this first one, I'll write doing dishes. Now that's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it is something I have to do all the time. So it's something I'm good at. I don't have to write a whole sentence here. I just have to write a couple of words that remind me what the idea is that I came up with. So your job today is to come up with at least three ideas of how-to topics. You can do that by making a list like this on a blank piece of paper, or you can do it on the blank how-to topics paper that I posted in Seesaw. Here's an, a few more ideas that I actually came up with. Um, and again, you don't have to fill in this whole chart today. I just want to see at least three ideas. I also put how to set up a Christmas tree, how to go sledding, how to wrap a present, how to make a friend, or how to make pancakes. Those are just a few other ideas, and you are welcome to use those if you'd like. So come up with those three or more ideas 
on a list today, and then you're going to take one of those ideas and write for 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe you didn't finish yesterday's piece. You could also work on yesterday's piece so that your writing and illustrations are finished on that piece as well. Remember, we're always working on something. We might not always be starting a brand new piece, but we're always working to make our pieces better, to finish the pieces that we started, and make sure we have really detailed pictures and words. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for another writing lesson. Enjoy your writing time.